Hello everyone. Did you know that your smartphones have four buttons that track everything you type on your keyboard? What you type in YouTube search, what you type when you search in your browsers. Basically, everything you type on your keyboard, even when you're chatting with someone or messaging someone, it's all read, remembered, and some of it is even sent to various servers for analysis. First of all, it's unsafe. Secondly, when this data is collected, you receive a lot of advertising on your smartphone. And you've probably noticed that after chatting with someone, texting someone, or searching for something, you immediately receive an ad for what you were looking for. Personally, I would disable these dangerous settings because you can lose your personal data and much more. This monitoring puts a strain on your processor and RAM and drains your battery unnecessarily. Plus, you get tons of ads on your phones. I'll tell you everything now. Be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. So, of course, the first thing you need to do is access the keyboard. Look, when you've entered the standard settings, I'll go back and see it again. The easiest way is to click on Search by Settings. There you go. This brings up the keyboard you use to type, that is, write something. But you can also access this keyboard in any other way. For example, when you search for something on YouTube or in your browser, or when you're sending a message, you'll see exactly the same keyboard. Next, look, you need to click on the four squares on the left side and then find the gear icon. These are the settings for this keyboard. Click here. Now look, you need to scroll down and find a setting called security. You can tell by the security icon here. Click here. By the way, on some smartphones it might be called privacy, not security. And here, check all these sliders, all these buttons. Look, the first button is send statistics. Automatically send app usage statistics to Google. That is, our keyboard, where we type and enter things, is a separate app. And no matter what you type, these statistics are saved and sent to Google servers. What happens to them next, how they analyze them, of course, no one will tell you, you can only guess. Personally, I always disable this on mine. Next, the second one, personalization for you. Improve text and voice input based on your keyboard usage data. That is, everything you say, all the transcripts, will supposedly be saved on your smartphone. But again, look, if the first slider is enabled, we've enabled sending statistics here. That is, it's supposedly stored on the phone, but since we've enabled sending statistics here, why not send what we write? Why would anyone personally want to know what I'm writing on my phone or what I'm writing to someone else? Of course, I'll also disable this slider, this clever setting. Next, look, scroll down to another clever slider called Improving for You. Help Google better recognize words and phrases using keyboard usage data. Overall, I personally think that even if this setting is enabled and the information that's collected and sent somewhere, it won't help you in any way, because all updates for all smartphones are exactly the same. Nothing will improve anything for you personally. So, of course, you need to disable this kind of clever monitoring and disable this clever button. And then check and double check. I've already disabled this, sending audio messages. So, if you use audio messages, if you use voice input, then all of this could be recorded. Firstly, it affects your smartphone's internal memory. It could fill up, and, again, it says here that nothing will be sent anywhere. But let's go back to the first settings. If you had them enabled, then you basically allow this. So, of course, double check this setting. If audio recording is enabled, also disable this slider. So, in total, you should have four of these settings disabled. This won't affect the operation of this app in any way. It will actually work even better than before, 
and will put less strain on your smartphone. It's useless, using your internet connection, constantly sending data that you don't even see. This is all done in stealth mode and completely unnoticed. But this happens and even affects battery life. Disabling useless features that you don't need personally always has a positive impact on your phone's performance. So be sure to double check, and you'll be very pleased that you've finally gotten rid of this monitoring, this surveillance, this incomprehensible data transfer. Of course, your smartphone will work faster and better than before. Don't forget to support the video with a like, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends.